Hello. Well, yesterday uh, they had to drain some of that fluid out and they put in another drain tube. Right here they stuck the needle in here to deaden it and then uh, stuck a wire down in there and ran the tubes down the wire and hooked them together. And it drains out. You can see the old blood that uh, is draining out. It goes down into this tube down here. And they recorded in here up to about 42 cc's now. I guess that's cc's. Didn't say what unit of measure, but I imagine it's cc's. So I guess if it doesn't go up too high, they can uh, pull out the drain tubes when it's done here and uh, maybe send me home. I'm getting tired of uh, having to be up here, but I guess it's better than going home and having my chest burst open. <laughs> Actually, that could have happened. Uh, sort of did happen over here on this side earlier. It, uh, Burst through the uh, scar where they had the stitches up here, right here, and it just kind of oozed out on the gown. But then it healed up, and then I, I had the pressure building up inside, but uh, you know there was nowhere for it to go. It was making it hard for me to breathe, and it was giving me a headache. I went, went up the left side of my neck first, then the right side started hurting too. They finally got something done and drained it here, so maybe that'll be an end to it. If not, they're going to have to open me back up again. I really don't want them to open up my chest again if they don't have to. It's been a comedy of errors with these doctors. Hopefully, I won't have to put up with it much longer. So, peace.